Hey everyone, what is going on? So we're doing more Kingdom Cup battles. I'm not really using anything in particular in today's video. I'm just using Pokemon that I think are good and that I've been using for quite a lot of these battles because I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, I begin with Bastiodon. He begins with Alteria. Now Bastiodon does beat Alteria every single time. So he's going to switch and I'm going to switch immediately because we have to be able to beat that Lucario. He switches into Alteria which does counter uh, Charizard but because we had multiple Dragon Claws charged up, we're able to hit those and uh, he's gonna go ahead and forfeit one of his shields we actually get yet another dragon claw off that's one of the reasons i like charizard for this cup because it does charge up that dragon claw really fast uh, even the blast burn fast so we're gonna go ahead bring in that bash shield on and we can take those dragon pulses all day long we could take the you know every, every moves was it sky attack uh, all those moves all day long you, you guys know that you guys seen it but uh now he has a lowly nine tails and uh, he's lagging a little bit, so I stop attacking, and then he, he uh, is able to continue to attack, so we do knock him out. So, taking a victory there. So, really good game, really good game. Had a lot of fun picking up Stardust in the meantime, why not? Uh, but yeah, that was a really good battle. But uh, anyway, beginning with Flygon this game, he begins with his Alolan Ninetales. Terrible matchup for me. I'm going to switch immediately into Charizard. Now, usually when you have... The bad lead, you're going to be at a severe disadvantage. It does depend what they have in the back. I was a little surprised he didn't switch into something, but I guess he didn't have anything for my Charizard. But anyway, he does knock out Charizard, so, you know, we did have to switch first. I'm going to bring in my Lucario, use that shield because I wanted to be able to knock out his Alolan Ninetales. And just waiting to see what he decides to bring in. It's going to be an Alteria, and I... Something happened. It's invisible, or did he pull another switch? I, I don't know what happened. I can't see the Pokemon, so I'm assuming I'm facing... I have no idea what I'm facing at this point. It's going down fast. I think it was a Lucario. I'm not really sure. Now he brings in the Alteria. So I don't know what happened there, guys. I guess it was some sort of glitch. Uh, it was a little bit confusing. We were both wondering what was going on, or at least I was. I don't know if he experienced that or whatnot, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and block this. I thought I might be able to get one more Dragon Claw off, and it was very close, but no. He's actually able to so I don't know if that glitch affected the battle I may have lost anyway I was just attacking because I didn't know what Pokemon it was what was going on but I guess it was Lucario and I guess I don't know he brought in Alteria later or whatnot but either way good game uh this time beginning with Lucario he does begin with Alolan Ninetales I'm gonna get off my power up punch and he's gonna go ahead and block that even though the shield didn't Register, we, he still blocked it. I'm going to block this because I want to keep Lucario as healthy as possible. Getting off this power up punch and he's going to block that. So we do take both shields. So Lucario is definitely good at taking shields. Now we actually waste our last shield as well. He actually gets with his move unfortunately you know it's gonna knock out Lucario I thought I would be able to get my power punch off before him or I actually thought that counter would be able to knock him out first but he brings in Lucario I actually switch ASAP even before seeing what he brought in because I knew it would be Lucario but now we do have Charizard and he has Alteria and uh, Dragon Claw, as I said, does charge up fast, so uh, doing pretty good amount of damage to him. He does get off his move. We probably would have been able to knock him out before he knocked us out if he didn't use that charge move, so I do agree with that play. But anyway, Bastiodon knocks him out. Now he has Lucario, so I'm like, okay, this is not looking good for us. And uh, I thought he was going to knock us out, but we actually do get that flamethrower off before and uh, knock out Lucario before he knocks us out. So it was a very close game, very close, but Bastiodon able to beat Lucario. Now, because of how bulky Bastiodon is, it is going to beat Lucario if it's able to get off that flamethrower if they have no shield. So it can survive some of those fighting hits, not many of them, but it could survive them. But anyway, next game, I pull the switch. It actually didn't register at first, but then we do get to switch into Charizard. He brings in Alteria. Now, Alteria is definitely stronger than Charizard if they're going head to head, but. Because we charge up so fast, we are able to burn a shield, uh, which is good for us, which is good for us. Uh, I decided to, to use a shield on the Sky Attack because I knew I would get off another Dragon Claw, and I thought it would come very close to knocking it out or forcing a shield. So it does force his last shield, but I don't think it would have knocked it out. But I do bring in Bash Shield on for this one. He's going to get off Dragon Pulse or Sky Attack. It happens to be Dragon Pulse. Not a big deal for us because Bash Shield on can take those hits any day of the week. And I figured he was bringing in Lucario as I was correct, but we do go ahead and get off that Flamethrower right now, and that's going to do a lot of damage. Then we're going to switch ASAP into Lapras. Now Lapras is not really great against Lucario because Fighting is strong against Dice, but he's very weak thanks to that 
Bastiodon's Flamethrower, and he brings in Alolan Sandslash. We are going to activate Surf and do a good amount of damage to it, then we're going to figure, uh, finish it off with Water Gun. So we actually do go ahead and take that game. So yet another fine game. I'm really enjoying these games. Let me know if you like the Kingdom Cup. Let me know if you like these videos. Some of you had said you'd prefer longer videos, like half hour videos. I'm going to put one of those out there at some point when I get a lot of battles uh, together and uh, see if you guys like that, see if you guys like the longer content. But yes, beginning with Skarmory, which is pretty interesting for this cup. I think it's pretty good for this cup, or at least decent. But uh, switching out because, you know, he, he would have done a lot of damage. Well, I thought he had Thunderbolt, but he actually has Flash Cannon. I, I guess he uh, switched up his moves and whatnot. But uh, bringing in his Alteria, and we still have Lucario, and of course, he's going to block the Shadow Balls, hoping he would think or predict it was a Power Punch. But no, he actually calls that correctly, and... He blocks it, getting off the Sky Attack, knocking out Lucario. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to bring in my uh, Skarmory because Flygon loses to Alteria because my Flygon does not have a fast Dragon-type move. It, and But we are going to bring in... Uh, bring in the Flygon against the Lola Ninetales. Probably not the best switch, but I knew I would be able to get off Earthquake after blocking his Ice move. So I do get off that Earthquake and I'm actually able to take out this Alola Ninetales. Of course, Earthquake is going to take it. Actually, we don't take it out. Excuse me. I thought we took it out, but no, he takes us out. Then we bring in Skarmory and we have Skarmory to go up against his um, Alteria and Sky Attack is going to go off, hitting it for a good amount of damage, but we have another Sky Attack ready to go and we're able to, to bust it out and that is going to be a good game. Now it's very risky switching in Flygon against his Alolan Ninetales but I knew I'd be able to get off Alolan, uh, I, I knew I'd be able to get off Earthquake, excuse me, and we do go ahead and get off that Earthquake so, but it was a pretty risky move, it was a pretty risky move but this match we are beginning with Bastiodon, he begins with Lucario, definitely a bad matchup for us so we're going to switch ASAP into that Charizard and he's going to switch as well so as I said if you have the bad lead you you do have a disadvantage doesn't mean you're gonna lose but you do have a disadvantage and for this battle we're gonna activate that dragon claw he's gonna go ahead and block it and uh there goes Charizard down so we're gonna go ahead and switch into Bastiodon which is gonna be able to take these moves any day of the week you guys have seen it I have seen it so we're going to go ahead and be able to finish off, not finish off, but, well, we are going to be able to finish it off, but we're going to have to take another Sky Attack, no big deal. And uh, we're going to finish it off, not using any charge moves, and now I am going to switch because I knew Lucario was coming in. Actually, Lucario gets off his move before we're able to switch, unfortunately, so I just decided to go ahead and use that Flamethrower. So we do, uh, he do, does block it, so I'm okay with that, but we do bring in Flygon. And getting up a good amount of energy. Unfortunately, he brings in the lower nine tails, but again, we can see how much earthquake does, and we know how much it's going to do. It does quite a bit of damage. So, uh, yeah, he does knock out Flygon, and we're going to go ahead and bring in Bastiodon now. And Bastiodon is going to be able to wall these attacks, and a little bit of lag, but again, not really a big deal. But we do go ahead and knock out Alolan Ninetales, and, but we're very, very weak to this Lucario. I'm going to go ahead and block it, hoping that I could get Flamethrower off, and it's going to be a tight one, guys. But we're able to do it again, so we do go ahead and get off that Flamethrower. So, knocking out Lucario. So, yeah, Bastiodon can beat Lucario, as you guys have seen uh, in a couple of these games. So, it, it's not going to beat it all the time. In fact, most of the time, it's going to fall to it. But, you know, when it gets those Flamethrowers off... You know, if it has enough energy charged up, it's able to beat it. But anyway, beginning, starting with a good matchup, we have Lucario. He does have his Mel Metal, so we're definitely in the better right now. Getting off that power punch, he actually pulls the switch as I'm, um, I guess, getting off my move, which is really unfortunate for us. But we do go ahead and bring in Bastiodon, and Bastiodon is going to be able to tank all those moves. You guys know it, you guys know it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen this before, probably in multiple battles, but I'm actually not going to use my Stone Edge. I'm just going to save up that energy because we're able to tank the Alteria's moves and knock it out with our Smackdown fast move. Although, I guess over time he did do quite a bit of damage to me, but uh, I use Flamethrower immediately just because I predict that Lucario, and I am correct, and we're actually uh, not able to get off another Flamethrower, unfortunately, but at least we did take one of his shields, so I'm definitely happy about that. So we bring in Lucario as well, doing a lot of damage to each other, and he's going to go ahead and get off his uh, Shadow Ball, and that's going to knock us out. I decided not to block there. Charizard knocks out his Lucario, 
and he brings in his Mel Metal, and yeah, he really can't do much to us because we still have both of our shields. Yes, he has rocks. Like actually, no, he has flame, a uh, flash cannon that might have knocked us out. But again, we have both shields, so it doesn't matter, and we can knock him out. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, click on one of the links to check out another one of my videos that you'll probably enjoy.